Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 30th of October 2024. I hope you are keeping well and enjoying life. Uh, I've had just woken up. It's it's. I've had a, such a great sleep, a really, really long sleep. Actually, I the, we had rain to the point of flooding here around my garden last night. I had to take the car outside, but it was just but it was just before midnight uh, that I took the car out and by the time I dried off it was probably just after midnight so uh, managed not to so I didn't wake up in the middle of the night you know after I went to sleep uh, it's really good I've had a really long sleep the, the best for, for that I can remember for months so that's good so I should be fresh enough to play a, certainly a medium level game of Sudoku from The Guardian The Guardian might be picking up subscribers I suspect um, um, uh, nowadays because um uh, according to the latest figures, a quarter of a million people have uh, unsubscribed from the Washington Post newspaper um, because of their refusal to endorse a candidate. So that's going to hit the pocket of Jeff Bezos, which is good, but it is also unfortunate. Um, it would be nice to hit his pocket in other ways rather than through the Washington Post. Uh, the Washington Post has had a history of good journalism over the years. Now, the reason Bezos has given, the feeble and, and BS reason that Bezos has given is that, according to him, the public trusts the media less than even politicians. You know, it's held in low trust, uh, even less than politicians. Uh, yes, that is true. Uh, but he what he thinks the reason is because they endorse a candidate that's nonsense that's clearly not going to be the reason why the media is currently held in very low esteem the reason the media is held in low esteem is because they live by the click instead of die by the sword what do we mean by that it means that that everything what do I mean by that? It's my idea. Uh, I mean that everything is online and is required to have clicks, which means that the, mostly the media are looking for sensationalist stories, sensational stories and articles, something that will even especially clickbait, of course, you know, where people will just click and generate income for the publication. Uh, that means elevating stories that ought to be minor, and it also means rewriting stories in a way that is guaranteed to get people to click on fueling anger. Usually, um, that's the way to that's the way that's the way to do it. This is Mr. Punch. Um, they don't investigate properly, or uh, some um, papers don't investigate properly. I'm not including the Washington Post in that because I think that they actually uh, have done a good job in many in many instances. Uh, part of the problem is that uh, this so-called independence of newspapers has given rise to the fact that they have normalized Donald Trump to the point where he has... I know, of course, that he has taken over the Republican Party, but they have also normalized many of his actions, or rather his speaking points, um, have taken over, and that has promoted this anti-democracy that is currently part of, a major part of the Republican Party in the US and other places around the world. Now, if you ask people in the Britain why they distrust the press, it's because they have been able to get away with so many lies and entirely made up stories over the years. The Sun is notorious, the Daily Mail is notorious for simply making up stories out of whole cloth, just totally invented stories, quotes, totally invented quotes, etc uh, etc et and so that's the main reason why people don't like the don't trust the media is because they are less in the investigation and objectivity market now also the problem a part of the problem as well is because news is often gained from tv and radio and, and internet or i guess internet more than anything else now uh, it can be very instant and newspapers come out the next day or a report on stuff that's or what oh, I guess not when it's when it's um online of course but they tend to add opinion or or bias or extra rep extra um, details or information to stuff that maybe ought not to be 
added. I'm now now meandering and sounding uh, illogical, but <laughs> um, uh, what I hope what what would be great is you know what is really great is reporting like ProPublica who have reported on Clarence Thomas's uh, you know um, hidden. Uh, the, um, loans and things like that. That kind of stuff is great. That's what we need more of. What we need less of is the, you know, clickbait st stuff on celebrities and uh, that that kind of thing. So, um, is it good that people are unsubscribing from the Washington Post? Uh, I, I feel not because, you know, uh, what 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 is going to take its place? I mean, you know. The thing is, you, you will end up with the, like the Sun in the UK and the New York Post in America, which are dreadful organs, uh, Murdoch owned papers. Uh, and they're much worse, of course. So uh, it's a double edged sword trying to, you know, hit Jeff Bezos by a, stopping your subscription to the Washington Post. Uh, much better to hit him in the pocket through Amazon, I think. Anyway. <laughs> Such is the state of uh, the media globally. Let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This is from The Guardian, a paper I mostly think is okay. I don't think it's perfect. Uh, never has been, never will be. But in, in, on the whole, is it okay? Yes, on the whole, it is. But, um, you know, it's, there are certainly, it certainly has a lot of failings too. Right, I can see a couple of things in this box over here. So let's start over here. We've got ones blocking across here like this and down here. One there. This is a medium level puzzle from The Guardian, apparently. Oh, I thought I'd seen five in this block over here, in this box here. I was mistaken. My eyes are not so good, maybe after a long sleep. <laughs> um, what else is going on? We've got ones up here and up here and one across there. Eight this way. There was something else in that box. There we are. It's an eight there. So now we have threes going across here. That gives me a three there. Seven across here. There's our seven. So now we will get a five. We couldn't get it before. And this will be a four. So there we are. There was some stuff going on in that box there. Missing numbers in this row, six, eight, and nine. We've got six and eight in a line, and so nine is going to fit there. Three blocking up here. Okay, let's wander through uh, our numbers bit by bit. See if we come up with anything. Yeah, there's a two over here and up here, so that gives me two in that square so that's gonna bring twos across here and give me a two there
five down the bottom here. Almost got away from me. Oh, I f almost forgot to look down at the bottom region. Six is going up. Six blocks across here, so six has to be in one of these two squares, blocking up here, six blocking up here, six across there, six across there. We're going to finish the sixes, six down here, six across here, and six up here puts six into this square, six up here, down there, and across here is going to give me a six here, and six this way. And that way it finishes the sixes. We just need an eight to finish this row. see eight up here and across and across gives me an eight there eight down here down there and across here for an eight Okay, to recap, six is our completed digit at this point in time. Uh, three is one of our missing numbers from this uh, column here. We've got a three blocking there, so. Three goes there. Let's finish this column off, shall we? What what are we looking for? Seven. Okay, I just noticed eight across here and eight down there. Well, let's put an eight in this square. Eight down here, eight across here and there. Finishes the eight. We can get this, can't we? What's missing from here? Seven and four, I think. So this is not seven or four, must be a two. And two blocking down here, down here and across there. This is really one of the easiest games uh, but the Guardian Medium is often an easy level game anyway, but this one is super easy, isn't it? There's nothing even remotely uh, causing thinking here. You just do this on kind of s very simple automatic mode. Nine blocks across here, that's going to put a nine in that square there. And this is going to be a four. Four blocking this square puts four here, and the last number in this row is a nine. One more number to get there, that's a seven. Seven blocking here, there's a seven. One will fill this square, one blocking across here, there's a one. Uh, what are we looking for? Four, nine, is it? Okay. Uh, one number to go here, that's a four, I think. And this is gonna be a seven. Up here we are still looking for four and five. What's going in those three squares there? We're looking for four, five and nine. Oh, one in each column. So we won't do that just yet. Uh, let's see, what, let's just click on the numbers that we still need. We've got one across here, one across there and one up there and up here. That's going to finish off the digit one. 
Can we finish the threes? Don't think so. How about the four? Not sure. Five. Yep, five blocking up here and five across there puts five into one of these two squares blocking across. So that will be our five and this is going to be four. Still need a seven, so seven across here and up and up there will give us seven in that square, seven across here, across there and up there. Uh, what else do we need? We still need a nine. Um, we need four again, let's see. Five is going to do it for us then. Uh, five across here, five that way. There's our five. Five down here, five up there. Nine up here, nine in there, and nine up and up. And nine across this way and this way. And nine down to the bottom. This would be a four four blocks across here so that's our four four blocks that way there's a four and still need a four in this block here up here we need three and there we need three to finish the game so that's a very easy game i thought well, it took quite a long time i must have been chatting a lot at the beginning sorry about that some days i chat a lot some days not much uh right i could actually continue on to the uh other game, it's so late, the um, the New York Times is already published, and I let's see if, let me check my email first, see if I need to do anything. Take care, bye-bye.